Hey y'all, Toad here. Okay, well today we're going to talk a little bit about making your own uh, beehives, parts, frames, bodies, and all that stuff. And uh, this video is going to be mostly about the frames. Now, uh, I'm going to assume that, you know, not everybody knows about it, so just bear with me. This here is a finished factory made frame. Um, it's got a foundation in, in it. This is where the bees actually build onto. And uh, when you buy these, they already have the comb. It's kind of hard to see in this camera, but the comb is already there. The shape and the bees build off of it like that, keeping the shape. So it gives them a, a foundation, duh. But uh, like I said, this is one made at the factory. And you can see just the various parts. I'll show you these. You know, here's a side piece, a little dovetail in. You can see a, a notch right there. Widens out. A big notch that goes into the top part of the frame. A little rounded so you can get it out. And then it has a little lip here that sits on the shelf inside the hive. And it's symmetrical all the way around. Now... I don't remember offhand how much these frames cost. They're not real expensive. Um, a few bucks a piece, and you can buy them that way. But, you know, they don't, for that few bucks, they don't come with the foundation. These foundations are a couple dollars in and of themselves. And, you know, me being a major cheapskate, and uh, plus, uh, I can't show it for copyright reasons, but right over there on the uh, TV in the shop, I'm <laughs> actually watching the World Series game. And, uh, I love baseball and uh, love to have the games, but I can't sit still. So that's just another, these are just the other kind of projects you can do while you're listening to the radio, whether it be music or, you know, watching, having a TV on like I do or whatever. But anyway, that's what I'm doing out in here. Having a good time, checking out the game, and uh, instead of sitting on the couch eating bonbons, producing something. So... Here, let me show you a frame, another factory-made frame. This is the actual one I got from Dirt Rooster, who's uh, up there, I'll put him. He got a shout-out last video. If you haven't seen you know, his channel, go check it out. Uh, he let me have this frame, and I used it as a pattern. And, uh, you know, with some slight differences, they're, just, they're, they're essentially the same thing. It's, it's not a complicated piece of machinery. And uh, here is one of the ones I've already built. These are what's in my hives. I don't have any store-bought uh, frames. The only thing that's in my hive that's store-bought is the uh, plastic foundations I showed you. Everything else I built myself. And oh, by the way, I did download this uh, page off the internet that gave the dimensions and all that. If I can remember where it is, I'll go ahead and put it down there so you can see that. But it, I kind of think it's a guideline, and I'll, I'll tell you why a little bit later. But, so what did I use for materials? Well, if some of you been watching my channel know that they were basically pallets. That's what it was. These are the 2x4s uh, that are cut out of the center of pallets, and they're longer than any of the pieces that we have to cut to make our frames. So all these short 2x4s you know, may not have a lot of use to some people. For, for this, they're perfect. Now the other part is, of course, the part that forms the top and the bottom of the pallets. Now this is where you have sometimes have to deviate from the plan a little bit. And if you're careful, you'll be all right. Um, I made a mistake with my first hive that I'll try and correct with this one. Is that you know, most of the plans call for these pieces of wood to be 3 quarters of an inch thick. Um, these pallet ones usually aren't, or if they are, they just barely are before you plane them down or, or get them all nice and smooth and whatnot. So these going down to five-eighths is pretty common. But uh, again, what does it cost? Um, it takes about, it takes me about 10 minutes at the most to go from a pallet to usable wood that's ready to use. So... Over the course of the next two or three videos, I'll show this stuff off and let you know what's going on. But uh, what I got done so far 
<laughs> yeah, game five, so you can tell I've been dorking around with this for a while. This is going to be, these here are going to be the tops. Of course, there's still steps left to be done. These down here are going to be the sides. You know? And these are going to be the bottom rails. All of these were cut out out of pieces of wood. Not only 2x4s, but other scraps I had hanging around. As long as you get the right dimension and length, and the longest pieces are like 19, 19 and a half inches, something like that. So you can use some pretty small pieces of wood. Now, that's pretty much what this video is about, is, you know, people on construction sites throw away pieces of wood like this. 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x12s. They throw this stuff away all the time. You keep your eyes open and uh, maybe an open spot in a trunk or your back of your truck, whatever you drive, you can collect an amazing amount of wood. And you look at this 2x4 and you look at this pile, we'll just use the bottom pieces for a second. You can tell it doesn't take that many to go ahead and complete enough. Now you ask how, how, what's, what's here? This is enough for a full three body beehive. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you'll see I have two bodies on mine. This, what you see right in front of you, is when you add the foundations, enough to do three full bodies. And that's of the, uh, the nine inch ones. If they were the six, the only difference would be the lengths of the sides. So, you know, I've been asked about this, and I'm going to try and do my best to take you through that. I'm not going to make these real videos real long. Watch this one, and then I'll go through the steps. I don't want to insult anybody's intelligence, because it's actually pretty easy. At this point in time, all I have used is a table saw and a chop saw to make all of these pieces. Now I will find that plan and put it down there because uh, me personally I hate videos of you know turning this on, turning this off, blah blah blah. I'll try and keep that to a minimum. I'm gonna in the next video I'll show what's needed to turn need to, to do the next step. To me that's where it starts getting interesting. Alright? So hey thanks for coming along. This will probably be a I don't know, three or four part series. By the time I get done, you'll at least have an idea of how you can make your own. And as you can hear, the cat, what? Oh, well, I'm doing something here. Can't you see? Anyway, as you can tell, the, uh, Her Majesty has decided she wants something. So I'm going to take off, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Take it easy.